Welcome back, everybody, to Klein Tannis. Klein Tannis? I hope... I don't actually know if I'm pronouncing that right. Anyways, let's do another run. That was weird. Yes, I'm here. Yep, yes, yes. Collect the fan. Yep, yep, yep. All right, slaying the cultist leader again. So... Now that I've made it to floor two. Okay, what's with the weird particle effect? Is any. I guess I'll just roll up the particle effect for this run. Okay, no, I can't roll with this particle effect for this run. Once more for effect. Perfect. Okay, so I think I have a I think I have a strategy here to at least get down to the second floor. What I think I need to do is I just need to farm. I need to farm these. Oh crap! There's two of them. Hang on, thinking. Thinking of witty commentary, but it's not working. My brain is broke. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I am very close to death right now. Ooh, a diary. We sealed the sealed curse lays. Lays like the chip. Okay, this this run's already a dud. This run's already a dud. I took way too much damage there too early. Now let's see. Uh, do more melee damage. Nah, I like this one. The scout ruin. So I'm, I think, so basically floor one, you need to farm it until you have better weapons. Uh, that's the, that's the best piece of advice I have for floor one. Uh, if you can get a legendary weapon, like, good for you. Bob's over there. <laughs> Terrible name for a boss, really. Hello, I am the ruler of this land. What's your name? I am the I am the fearsome ruler. I have millions of kills under my belt, and you, I, all hail Bob. Would you be scared if a guy's name was Bob? I would not be scared if a guy's name was Bob. Like if you want to be at least a monocon more terrifying, a bit more terrifying, you know. I am Robert. I am Bobbert. Hmm, Bobbert. I wonder what these do. Ooh, speed boost. Neat. Potent flask, that flask. Tar pool, okay. One of those pools. Neat. Oh, I'm so speedy. Alright, let's murder some more stuff here. I need to get I need to get farmed up before Bob. <laughs> We did get farmed up before Bob. What a dumb name. For a, what a dumb name for a cult leader. Okay, understand more by picking up these full... What is knowledge? I understand nothing. Oh, you... Oop, that's a... What did I just get? Friendly spirit that helps and aids you in battle. Okay, we're ready for Bob. Ooh, better bow. Yes, please. Okay, we are ready for Bob now. Actually, 
actually, if I remember from the last fight, I got this same sword. Ooh. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. You fool! Alright, let's go murder Bob. And by murder Bob, I mean I'm going to send my lackey to do all the work for me. My lackey, go! Ah, oh, the lackey is just too good. Dusty tablet. Amethyst tablet two. Blue star. Oh, okay, that's the. Uh... How do I use the teleport? Yeah. There we go. So this is, okay, so let's do, that's reinforced armor. Do the perks, Plague Bearer. Killing 100 more mobs gives you a monger reward. Sure, I'll take that perk, please. How do I take a perk? So now, killing 100 or more mobs, excluding guardians, gives you a random warmonger reward. Kind of dope. Scout Ruin. Also dope. I heal. Not enough shillings. Ooh, more ammo. Oh, not enough shillings. Okay. Floor 2. The floor feels slimy in this area. So we never did find where the second boss was. So let's do the old left hand rule here. My hand on the left wall, and we'll just explore around. Hopefully we'll find them. I was already in this room once. Health, hell yeah. Howie. Whoa, how about I don't be polymorphed? Put me down. Ow, not what I meant. Oh, I just went in a giant circle. Oh, boss. Ooh. Oh, health, thank goodness. What the hell was that? Ooh, nope, I don't like that. Ooh. Ooh. What did I just get hit by? If I can't get this guy's attention. Oh, let's murder him. I regret my decisions. Help me, little dude. Help me. Run for my life. Run for my life. Oh. Okay, that guy was a little bit harder than I expected. That's on me. Still like the scout ruin, though. Uh, yes, yes, uh, outskirts of area, yes. Uh, yes, find three fragments, yes. Oh yes, we can do that, yes. Back to floor one. Well, let's, I guess, just farm for a while. Ooh, 
miss, 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 miss. Ha! Losers. So if I get that legendary sword, we can beat Bob. If I don't get the legendary sword, we're screwed beyond all measure. Uh, I'll just stick with what I got. Go away. Go away, you. Hello? Have you heard about our Lord and Savior? Good. Okay. Okay. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior, Notch? Ooh. Rampage. No, don't shoot. I gained the knowledge. I still don't know what knowledge does, but I gained it. Apparently, you can discern a lot by murdering people in this game. <laughs> I can I can learn so much by murdering you people. Ooh, Ooh I bit off more than I could chew here. Nope, I might not have. I like the variety of weapons in this game. It really feels like a lot of thought was put into the different tiers of weapons. Like, I, I really do like what they've kind of been going for here. Thank you. Ooh. I got the scout rune to activate again. Awesome. just pick up the remains here of my... There we go. That's better. Don't activate Bob. Oh, Power Fist Guy! Stop it, you. Uh, nope. Oh, yes. Well, coming for you. Ooh, Power Fist Guy! Is that a guy's face? I just noticed that the Power Fist looks like it's got a face in it. That's just mean. All right, what's next? Still looking for that... Still looking for a legendary weapon crate. I'm not going to feel comfortable trying to beat Bob until I have that. Uh, caster guy. Oh, come on. If I could not miss, that'd be great. I wish there was a mini boss or something I could fight, like before Bob. Like a mini Bob. <laughs> it's not a mini boss, it's a mini Bob. I wish there was a mini Bob that I could fight before boss that gave me, or before Bob, that gave me a chance at, uh, just some better, a guaranteed chance at, like, a better crate. I really don't feel comfortable fighting Bob yet until I've gotten better loot, which I think is the point. Now you gotta kinda run around and farm a bit. Farm. I'm thinking about my, my Minecraft SMP that I'm running right now on. I, I, I have a farm. It's a farm that I'm running. Anyways, uh, it, would certainly, it would certainly cut down on the farming a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought that was a secret. No, it's invisible blocked back there. Archer guy. Sealed curse lays. The sealed curse lays where? Where does the sealed curse lay? Deeper in? Is that? Is it like hinting? There's secret. There's a, supposed to be a bunch of secrets around here, and I am yet to. F well, I think I did find one in like episode one, but. Oh, better loot. Uh, sacrificial dagger. I guess that's something. They're really good at the 
this map does random loot drops pretty well. I, I genuinely feel like there's... Ooh, can't kill the bee. I thought of everything in this map. I genuinely feel like there is enough... Okay, I get that I'm getting knowledge, but I don't understand what knowledge is for. Like, do I need to get some knowledge bobs dropped on you? God, I love that ruin when it procs. Such a good ruin. I suppose, do I also need to farm? Uh, farm for the in-between levels where I, I buy better loot and perks and shit from the chests? Is that another thing that... So I should just farm the level, the first level anyways. Or at least I'm thinking I should farm the first level anyways. But what is knowledge actually supplying me with? I, I still don't quite understand that. Uh, and another thing while I'm playing, while I'm playing the map, like I get it that this is like an alchemist, alchemical map thing. Sore muscles and luck. Like, I get this is an alchemical map thing. Contaminated pool. But it seems very hard to, in the middle of combat, throw down throw down these different potions. I feel like that needs to be revamped just a, just a little bit. Give me legendary weapon! Yes! What I get? What do you do? Commander's rune. Every three mobs you kill will apply a weakness debuff to all mobs momentarily. Okay, we're gonna go try and kill Bob. <laughs> all right, Bob. Meet your maker. Ooh. Our fisting asshole. <laughs> Do not spawn. Ooh. I don't know which one is real Bob. No. Damn. Total knowledge. Like, I don't understand this whole total knowledge thing. Gonna explore around here a little bit, so I think it's time to render a, an opinion on this map. You know, I, I promised I would do like I promised I would do like a little three episode run here in between, in between maps, and I think I'm kind of ready to render an opinion on this map. This is a good map. Like it's got a lot of things going for it. I definitely like the direction of of uh, doing this sort of a, a roguelike here. Um, keep beating your head against a wall until, you know, the wall gives way. I, I definitely kind of like that whole roguelike aspect. Uh, some things I would like to see differently, you know. Um, the creators did say uh, that, you know, I could go and figure out there is a lab around here where I can go look up the uh, what the different chemical reaction things do. But it never really told me what they do. It just told me how to make them. So I, I think how to use what the recipes are could be a little bit clearer. I think there also needs to be a slightly easier way than quickly panicking. Oh, a regeneration pool. That's kind of nice. I think there needs to be a better way to throw down the potions than just quickly panic throwing. Uh, that's just an opinion of mine. I think that's a mechanic thing limited by Minecraft, so I won't hold that against the map. You know, you kind of got to make do with what you got. Um, another thing that I would like to see in this map is more meta progress outside of the run. Uh, I would like to. I would like to know if there's a way that I would like to see um, a more obvious way to. Hey, you didn't spend these shillings, but hey, you can buy permanent buffs. You know, um, you know that's something that you typically see in roguelikes. It's there's. I want to see more meta progress uh, being able to be made in these in these maps. That's you know permanently kept in between runs. Uh, I think meta progress is. You know, I think uh, meta progress is a very standard thing with uh, with uh, with the with the rogue like genre. Uh, I 
pretty good on criticisms there. Things that this map does really well, uh, the variety of weapons and the different ways that you can kill people and the effects that those weapons do is really, really cool. Uh, the legendary weapons definitely felt like legendary weapons. Like, especially that, uh, that legendary weapon I got on the first run where I could spawn the, where I could spawn the mini-me. That was, that was kind of, that was kind of cool. I thought that was really, really well, really well done. Uh, the map, gorgeous map. I love, I love the design and the care that went into, into the map. Uh, the, you could definitely tell that the creators, uh, put a lot of work and that the play testers, you know, tested everything. You know, I believe the map is pretty well, is pretty well refined. Uh, it's very tight gameplay and I do like that. So to more or less cap everything, uh, cap everything off in like a, a nice, a nice little review map, you know, I would give this map a good seven and a half out of, out of 10. You know, it was a really, it was, it was a neat map to sink time into. And it's a very good map. Now, I think, you know, kind of tweaking meta progress a little bit here um, to make it so that way when uh, you're, uh, when you're, you know, when you fail, like, you don't feel like you've accomplished nothing, that, that would be, ooh, I didn't know Fink could spawn out here. I, I did not realize things could spawn out here. I should probably get away from this area. It's ruining my it's ruining my train of thought. Where was I? I think, you know, tweaking the meta progress aspect a little bit. Uh, reset prism. I need to get out of here. Thank you. I think tweaking the meta progress a little bit here. The potion system's kind of the neat thing. I just couldn't figure it I just couldn't quite figure it out, but overall, seven and a half out of ten pretty good it's a pretty good map it's a great thing to sink time into it's definitely worth you know uh, installing it to beat your head against the wall a little bit overall good roguelike thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you all next time <laughs>